guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you're watching the video from and the time i'm gonna see the video i remember my humble self the icon if you're coming across my page for the first time i would like you to do the next for which you know yesterday or day for you see some days ago i brought that brought us in news that atiku finally won at the u.s court against tinibu which the the judge which is barista gibbert gave an order for the the, the the school in USA, Chicago State University, to release all the documents, all the record of Bola Ame Tinibu to Atiku Abubakar in two days' time. When that news came up, I thought that should be the, I thought it is the final judgment in that particular case. You know, like in our country, any case the, the Supreme Court handled has ended there. No other window we are going to explore. But in this case, I thought that one is the final bus stop of that particular case. I don't know that the next person that lost in that particular case can also go further. In this particular news, I got another news yesterday that Bolatinibu has filed an emergency case stopping the Chicago State University from releasing his document to Atiku Abubakar. I don't know why he's trying to stop them. Is it that the record is not clear or that what he submitted to INEC is not what these people will give to, to Atiku Abubakar or that he didn't? According to Chicago State University, they say that he was their student. But why is he stopping them from releasing such document? Is it that the document is personal and not a person should have access to it? But let's get the news now and see the reason why Tinibu is moving to stop the release of a Chicago State record to Atiku Abubakar. White Nibu moves to stop order the writing release of a Chicago State University records. The news has it that Bola Ahmed Nibu has filed a motion seeking to stop Chicago State University from releasing his academic record to Atiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of People Democratic Party. A United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois had on Tuesday ordered Chicago State University to produce relevant documents showing the academic information of Tinibu, who claims to have attended the university. Abu Bakr had approached the court seeking to compare the institution to grant his request on the ground that the document would strengthen his suit, challenging Tinibu's electoral victory. Geoffrey Gibbard, U.S. magistrate judge, granted the request and ordered Chicago State University to release Tinibu's record within 48 hours. However, in an application before a federal judge, Tinibu is seeking to be joined in the suit because it is his personal information that is being sought. Mr. Tinibu should be allowed to join our in or intervene because he has a direct personal interest in other sorts, in record sorts. His interests are not fully represented or protected by respondent Chicago State University, and his interests will be affected if he is not permitted to join or intervene. The motion filed by Christopher Tinibu's lawyer reads, Chicago State University stated that its obligation is satisfied by providing notice of the application and attempt to assess the record. Chicago State's position is that it does not have an obligation to oppose the application and therefore Chicago State University does not adequately represent Mr. Tinibu's interest. He is also asking that the order of court should not be given effect until his application is determined. The president is equally demanding the authority of the magistrate to issue the order against Chicago State University. Interven Intervenor asks this court to enter an immediate order delaying the effect of the magistrate's order at least until Monday, September 25th so the court may fully consider both the scope of the magistrate's authority and to issue the order without 
review and the issue of whether the magistrate's order was a correct application of the law to the to the facts represented. The document further read, Interveno raises a substantial question about the magistrate authority to resolve the session 1782 petition and order immediate compliance by Chicago State University. If Chicago State University comply with the magistrate order prior to his court having an opportunity to review the order, Interveno will suffer prejudice because the information will have been disclosed and effective release will be impossible. Thank you very much, guys. I remember my humble self, the Ackman. Try to share the video, like it, comment, and follow my page. Let's keep watching the outcome of all this particular thing happening. We move.